And I'm Amber Freeman. A new billboard on Highway 50 is turning heads. It's a political cartoon in support of Donald Trump, where he's traded in his designer suit for a tougher exterior. News Channel 5 reporter Travis Ketchaturin was at the unveiling of the political statement you won't find anywhere else. He joins us live on Highway 50 with the details. And Travis, what's so special about this billboard? Amber, this sign features Donald Trump as you've never seen him before. In the billboard just right down the roadway, Donald Trump is dressed up as a white knight in full metal attire preparing to slay a dragon. You heard that right. I said slay a dragon. Definitely an odd sight with the artist hoping to make a loud statement. Thank you all for coming here today. It's another billboard going up. Grand Junction resident Arvid Mosmus is no stranger to controversial billboards. In 2010, he commissioned this portrayal of President Obama that was widely criticized as racist. Now he's back with Donald Trump on the mind. And then we'll see if this works. Look at that. It's titled Donald the Dragon Slayer, featuring the politician as a white knight wielding the Constitution, apparently taking on liberalism and the federal government. You got our main enemy, UN, FEMA, Planned Parenthood, DHS, EPA. I think you're that great. Satirical cartoonist Paul Snover said Arvid came to him with the idea about three weeks ago and is unapologetic with his latest piece. People are offended too easily these days and need to, need to try to be more open-minded. Waving the Confederate flag, these activists are kicking off the 2016 campaign season very loud and clear here in Grand Junction. It's not uh, uh, an official Donald Trump billboard. It's just something that the citizens came up with and wanted to present. So if you're driving eastbound on Highway 50, you've officially been warned. Donald the Dragon Slayer will be making a frequent appearance for those taking their daily commute. The billboard is located in one of the most heavily trafficked areas of the city. With just last year, the Colorado State Department counting more than 17,000 cars passing through this corridor every day. Live on Highway 50, Travis Ketchatorian, News Channel 5. Travis, thank you. Grand Junction City Council is looking for a 